good morning good afternoon good evening ladies and gentlemen today i want to talk about a crucial issue that affects every aspect of nigeria's electricity as many of you are aware nigeria has been grappling with significant challenges in its electricity sector for decades despite africa's largest economy and having vast energy resources i think <laughs> And um, even right now, I can see on your screen when you put uh, generation and distribution challenge. It is actually generation, transmission, and distribution challenge. Nigeria struggles to provide reliable and affordable electricity to its citizens. The challenges facing Nigerian electricity sector are manifold. They include inadequate generator capacity, inefficient transmission and distribution networks, high levels of electricity tariffs and non-payment, as well as policy inconsistencies and regulatory bottlenecks. The inadequate supply of electricity has profound implications for socio-economic development in Nigeria. It hampers industrial productivity, Staples and entrepreneurship and undermine the quality of life of millions of Nigerians. So, in the case of the power sector, <coughs> the problem has been uh, it's been a long journey, a major problem. Uh, we started privatization in 2013. I can say with fact and figure that yes, a lot of progress has been made. People, but Nigerians, what Nigerians want is electricity. <clears throat> they don't want stories or want to hear why is the just say just give up electricity. <clears throat> but Nigerians also need to understand that electricity is not a social service, not anymore. Electricity is a product like bread or any other product, it has to be paid for. Somebody has to pay for it. And not just paying, <clears throat> we have to pay the appropriate price, the appropriate tariff. We, we have to all desist from the usual Nigerian theft. Without reliable power, businesses cannot thrive and have so struggle to meet their basic needs. However, it's not all doom and gloom. The Nigerian government has recognized the urgency of addressing the electricity crisis and has initiated several reforms aimed at revitalizing the sector. This includes the privatization of power generation and distribution companies, the introduction of independent power producers and efforts to improve regulatory oversight and transparency. Moreover, there are significant opportunities for investment in renewable energy, sources such as solar, wind and hydroelectric power. Nigeria boosts abundant renewable energy potential, which is if harnessed effectively could help diversify the energy mix, enhance energy security and mitigate the environmental impact of power generation. Community engagement and participation are also vital components of the solution, empowering local communities to participate in energy projects, promoting energy efficiency and conservation measures and fostering public-private partnership can all contribute to the sustainable development of Nigerian electricity. Just a minute, okay. sir. Okay, number one, when I say, when I say the division company, it means it is us. So it's not about me not taking responsibility. I'm very proud to be representing them, and I'll say the truth and say it as it is. Number two, um, when you say, why should, if, if I live uh, in the neighborhood where there are more <coughs> chiefs than honest people, if in my, on my street we are 20 on a transformer and 15 of us steal energy, there's no way they will give me electricity without giving the other 15 uh, people. For that reason, we will not all have light. So that is me getting punished because of the thief that surround me where I am. And I know thieves. There's nobody who does not know. In this studio, you cannot say that you have not heard about anything in your neighborhood if you live in Nigeria unless you live among angels from heaven. You cannot say you have never heard of meter bypass. So and when I talk about this, though, I'm not saying majority of Nigerians, though. Mm -hmm. Most Nigerians are good people, honest people. 
So <laughs> maybe we, may, maybe Mr. Adolfo, you use the case. you use the most to cancel out the ballot. Since uh, we are in the majority, the good ones, uh, I pay my bill. I'm sure my colleagues pay their bill. <laughs> yeah. Don't make us suffer for the bad element. So but really, yes. people stealing electricity yes. should stop. Uh, yeah, and I think yes, that's an yes. important we point to make. We know they do. We know yeah. they do. People do. People bypass. We agree. Uh -huh. But we're saying we should not be suffering for uh -huh. those. The law has uh, provided for such know. things. Once a call to action. Addressing the challenges facing Nigeria's electricity sector requires a concerted effort from all stakeholders, government, industry, civil society, and the public. By investing in infrastructure, promoting renewable energy, improving governance and regulations, and fostering community engagements, we can unlock the full potential of Nigeria's electricity sector and pave the way for a brighter more prosperous future for all Nigerians. Thank you for your attention. I will now be happy to take any comments, questions you may have.